Hey guys, it's Bubba here, and this year we're taking a look at Windows XP Epsilon Edition. Now, I really don't know much about this. I know that it was recommended to me in one of my previous videos, so I'm really excited to take a look at this OS and see what it's like. From what I remember reading in one of the comments, this is an improved version of Windows XP Delta Edition, which we have taken a look at the past on this channel, and it is designed to really make Windows XP better, fix Microsoft screw-ups, and just make Windows XP extremely good and usable. So, let's go ahead and get started. We can see that by default in the out of, not the out-of-box experience, but rather the setup, it identifies itself as Windows XP Professional, which is obviously what it's based off of. I'm gonna go ahead and press enter, and setup did not find any hard drives on my computer. Uh, for some reason, VMware likes to do some weird things with the hard drive, so give me one moment. All right, let's go ahead and try this again. So now that we can find a disk, we'll go ahead and agree, select the disk I just added, we'll format it, and here we go. We are now installing Windows XP Epsilon Edition. So just for some further information on this build, because I feel like I didn't do a very good job of explaining, Windows XP Epsilon Edition is a modification of Windows XP Service Pack 3 and a spiritual successor to Windows XP Delta Edition. So its aim is to recreate Windows XP RTM and Service Pack 1 functionality, bringing, it up, bringing up aesthetic from Windows XP Release Candidate builds, which it looks like the final version. So with that being said, that's a little bit more information. This includes a fully a full update to 2019 security updates, things like that. It's fully consistent. It restores unused Utopia sound scheme, Windows Media Player 8, Movie Maker 1.1, Messenger XP RTM version, Remote Desktop Connection XP Service Pack 2, and Outlook Service Pack 1 are installed on this OS. The address toolbar functionality has been added. Fatal flaws by Microsoft have been fixed. There is restored more of the depreciated some depreciated things were restored to this OS. There's new shortcuts for obscure programs, and it's upgradable from Windows NT 3.51, 98, 98 SE, ME, and Windows Whistler. It's a patched UX theme, and it uses unsigned themes which aren't made by Microsoft or people who didn't use pack them. High quality XP sounds, bug fixes, and some more. Uh, those are read directly from the archive.org website um, for this listing. All right, and here we go. So nothing looks out of the ordinary in this Windows XP out-of-box experience. Go ahead and type Windows, and I was really hoping it wouldn't ask for product key because I hate finding product keys for Windows XP, but we'll see what I can find. All right, and I was able to get a product key that worked, so we're gonna go ahead and continue through the out-of-box experience, and we are now installing the network, uh, copying files and finishing up the setup. All right, and here we are. So I'm sure that you can hear the sound or the music. Um, I did have to mute OBS's desktop recording so I don't get a copyright strike here. Um, but it is playing the Windows XP title dot wave. Um, we're going through the out of box experience again so our name will just be Epsilon. If I could type that correctly, there we go. Next, and we're done. This will get us into the desktop here. And the first thing I notice is look at that light or look at that hourglass. That looks totally different. Um, and the cursor looks different. But all right, let's get VMware tools installed and then we'll take a look. All right, and here we are. So on the desktop of Windows XP Epsilon Edition, the background itself, Bliss, looks definitely a little bit different. Like the colors are off slightly. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It feels more blue than the traditional Bliss that we see on Windows XP. Let's open these release notes here that opens in WordPad. And this is just an overview of Windows XP Epsilon Edition. It goes over a whole bunch of things that are changed. Uh, here's the change log for the different versions. Um, apparently, they thought that there would be a final version, and then it wasn't the final version. Um, betas, final release, and here are the credits. So thank you to all of these people for making this possible. So that being said, let's take a look. So of course, we have the recycle bin as we do in every Windows XP release. And then down here on the taskbar, we have our time we have what appears to be Windows security alerts, safely remove hardware, the volume, which regular Windows XP sounds, VMware tools, I of course installed that. And then by default, the taskbar is resizable. Uh, that's not enabled by default on Windows XP regular, but it is enabled here. Um, pretty cool. I really miss screwing around in Windows XP. This reminds me when I was way younger, I used to play an RXP computer like this. Just like I remember I do stupid stuff like that. Anyways, over here on the start button, we have our standard start menu. Nothing is really standing out to me here. Um, we have our Internet Explorer, which should be IE8. Um, 
why do I have to do any of this? Um, let's get online with MSN. Sure. I'm mean, okay. I'm not going through this. This takes too long. Um, we have Outlook Express, Media Player, Messenger, Tor Windows XP, WordPad. In accessories, we have nothing really out of the ordinary. Just our standard Windows XP accessories. Um, I see I Express Wizard. I don't know if that's a Windows thing or not. I'm not sure. I think it is. I just I'm not used to seeing that. Um, under games, we have all of our regular games like Free Cell Hearts, Checkers Hearts. Oh, these are Internet Checkers and Hearts. I thought I thought I said Hearts twice, and I was really confused. Reversey, Spades, Minesweeper, Pinball, Solitaire, and Spider Solitaire. Um, but again, nothing really out of the ordinary in terms of that. Um, let's go ahead and open the Winver here and see if that says anything different. Windows XP Professional, so that doesn't even identify itself uh, as Epsilon. Does this? No. This doesn't even identify itself as Epsilon. Um, let's take a look at RAM, CPU, and disk usage. So in terms of CPU, we're using about 5%, 7% idle, 0% now, and 194 megs out of 1 gig. So not terrible, uh, typical Windows XP here. As for disk usage, that is not where I wanted to go. We are using 2.68 gigabytes of a 40 gig disk. So again, not bad. But remember, we're Windows XP. We're not Windows 10 or 11. So let's actually take a look at some things that we can see here, some changes. Um, they changed the OOB music, so the quality was updated. Uh, they fixed the DLL file, they removed the DLL file, they updated the setup file, um, changed some sounds. So I guess this is something you'd have to find as you look through the operating system. You would have to find the changes that are subtle. Like, I mean, right now it just looks like regular Windows XP, but what I think Epsilon is, is it's just random changes throughout the operating system designed to make user experience better so I don't think like most of the common applica most of the common or modern versions of custom Windows ISOs we take a look at aren't like this you know well, as soon as you boot them up in the desktop it's obvious what they changed but this this is a more subtle approach it's more hidden and I really do like that type of approach you know more quality of life improvements over really screwing around with the start menu um, one thing I do want to do and this is totally unrelated to this OS I just want to change the theme here um, because I was actually watching a video earlier about Windows XP. You know, a video I used to watch 10 years ago, I rewatched it today. Um, and I totally forgot that you could actually change this to. Ooh, wait, those are different. Oh, these are different names? Are these different names? Because I thought they were blue and silver, or green and silver, or olive and silver, I guess. The names are different on this one. But yeah, there we go. Look, there's our silver theme. I used that one for a while. And then this should be called Olive, I think. I don't think it was actually called Homestead. I don't like this color. Um, I never used it. But I actually kind of like it now. Like, it kind of looks pretty cool. But we'll go back to the default blue theme, the Luna theme for Windows XP. So that being said, this is a brief overview of Windows XP Epsilon Edition. Definitely let me know what you think about this down in the comments below because I love taking a look at older Windows operating systems. Windows 10 and 11 gets really boring after a while, and it's nice to go back to the roots here with Windows XP. And that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.